going to be here to kind of go through some of the questions we've gotten from Twitter. Right. Tyler never answers as many as I want to, so uh, I'm just going to answer a bunch. I'm going to make myself look bad and say that is true. Uh, <laughs> Tyler, I have a question. I, I'm not going to answer it. Uh, go ahead. Since Derek can't be in, should I go to 11? Should I go over the top to match the spirit of Derek? i uh, stick at seven. Oh, man. Okay. Stick at seven, I would yeah. say. Okay. Uh, like seven on a Derek scale or seven on a Steve yeah, yeah. scale? That's a tough one. Uh, okay, so let's go to some questions straight away. From Twitter, Need Injustice 2 Answers is the Twitter wow. name. Uh, will gear be earned through local matches? So sitting down with your friend playing matches. No. Uh, you get that thing where people sit down with two controllers and sit and just grind it and stuff. So no, you don't. You, you, we, because of that, we don't let you do it. Just have fun with your friends, play on the couch, but we won't be getting gear there so you can't, you know, get all the gear in. Yeah, people do that. They sit with two controllers. I've never done anything like that before. Right, right. Did you, uh, did you rubber band the controller? Like, oh, I've done that yeah. many times, many times. I beat Shaolin Monks where I use my hands and then I use my feet as the second character to, to beat co-op by myself. I've done, with, I've done Monk with two controllers and two hands with each one. This is a fun fact. Sean, you are a master of Shaolin Monks. Yes. I am the third best player of that game. Uh, so there, we, we've been in talks. Don't know what will ever happen. I hope it does. Maybe we'll see you play it sometime. Maybe. Yeah. I really want Edward and I to play that co-op all the way through. And maybe do a director's cut as you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. There's so many goofy things in that. We don't know. It's, it's up in the air. It's just an idea. Uh, from at Jameer Fox. Mobile game. We talked about it at GDC. There is an Injustice 2 mobile game. Yes. When will it be? When, when are we going to see it? It will come out before the console game, assuming all goes to plan, and that is the closest to a date I will get. Great. And as we say every time on the stream, these are all games in progress. They're be games that are being made. Things can happen that may change things. So these are just, we're giving you what we can right now. Again, the build you see, not the finished version of Injustice 2. There may be some stuff that changes. So if you're looking at crazy frame data... Stop doing that. Uh, they're going to do it anyway. Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. Uh, I will say this. We will have a, mo a stream based on the mobile game to talk about the mobile game when, it, when we get it out there. And we're also looking to have a stream that will be just talking about the mobile game uh, every once in a while so we can show all the new stuff that's happening with, a, with me and another host. So we'll have more information of that to come. Ooh, teasing another host. So be, yeah. We're going we're gonna to meet different hosts for different shows. Is he, is he bearded? He is, he is bearded. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that's kind of the rule. So, oh, so I figured. Whoa. I know, I know, because I'm filling. Fine, fine. I should have told you. Um, this is a good one. Uh, is there going to be gear that plays off other gear? Like, let's say Batman has a kryptonite head chest set. Well, that's an excellent example from the question, because that is exactly one that is completely true. Right. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get the terminology of this wrong, but the design, and Belloponic can fix it for you, but yeah, like Batman has a kryptonite set of gear. So if you collect all five pieces of Batman's kryptonite set, you get set bonuses. And I believe it works was if you have three, four, and five, like they, they grow as the set bonuses right. go. And they'll give you certain things that we'll talk about later. And I've mentioned this many times, and I'm sorry we haven't done it yet. We will have a gear stream with Mr. John Edwards to discuss all things gear. A lot of stuff we haven't talked about, maybe show off some of these sets, mm -hmm. things like that. There's a lot of really awesome stuff about gear that we haven't even talked about yet. Um, next question. That was from Bladed LA, by the way. Uh, from Twitter again, uh, E. Newton, can I get a birthday shout out? No, Derek's not here. Derek is not here, so there are no birthday shout outs. Yeah, no. E. Newton will not be shouted out to. Not, we are not shouting you out for it being your birthday. No. That is not happening right now. No. Nope. You have to wait another year. Yep. See you next year if Derek if Derek's here. If, yeah. So, uh, Vin, uh, Vino Mitel, will gear have durability and can it break? Uh, I'm hesitating because, of course, it will not break. Yeah. Uh, I understand that some games things yeah. wear out and break. No, ours is durable. Mm -hmm. Once you have that piece of gear, it's that gear with those stats forever. Yeah. yeah. They never, gear can't break. You yeah. don't need to repair it. You don't need to repair it. No. Correct. Uh, where are we at here? We it got, doesn't have energy or something nope. like that. Just your gear. You it's got gear. It. Uh, at Injustice fan page, um, will there be a tower mode of some sort? I'll use your answer. Yeah, there's going to be cool stuff. And we'll probably talk about that in a later stream, right? That's the right answer? Yes, it is. Yeah. And okay. I want to touch on that for a moment. It is very difficult for me, and probably for you guys too. We've seen everything in the game, and all of the really cool stuff that we can't show you yet. So there's a lot of questions you're going to give us that I can't answer. But I will say, what we just talked about, there's some really neat stuff coming. We'll have a stream 
probably dedicated to that as well. Yeah, it, it yeah. needs its own stream because yep. it's because it's a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, there some of the tower stuff is the, some of the coolest single player stuff we've ever done. Very exciting. Um, so the single player mode for this game is very robust. I'll say that. Um, this is a good one for you, Sean. Mm. Recently on our forums, we announced a new type of in-game currency, which you can go to our forums to take a look at the, uh, the, the frequently asked questions and whatnot. Uh, they're called source crystals. Can you kind of tell people what source crystals are? Yeah, so I, I saw a bunch of the questions, so I can kind of cover the whole thing in one answer of, source crystals are used for visuals and visuals only. So uh, I, I'll probably say this seven times, but it does not have gameplay impact. It is, you can, no way can you pay to win. Uh, Source crystals are, are a currency you pay for with dollars, but it does visuals only. Right. So, for example, shaders, and I'm going to ask Jen, can Jen put that image up of the shaders of Harley? Um, shaders do a color change. So, once Jen's got it up, uh, you'll see, like, hey, I'm a guy who likes hot pink. I, I'm a hot pink guy over a, a blood red. Well, then you can get that shader to do that. Now, a lot of these are going to drop in game as right. well, but if you want to shortcut your way to some of these, great, go ahead. Or, I love teal. I think that's the third one in that image. Hey, go get teal or wait for it to drop in game. Whatever. You know our audience. You're talking to the teal fans. Right, teal and hot pink. I right, get it. Right. Um, and blood red uh, for the MK fans, right? Sure. Uh, so, shaders, one thing like if you want a shortcut to those visuals, it doesn't affect gameplay, it doesn't change the stats, it's just a visual thing. And they'll drop too. And they'll drop too, exactly. And then you get into premiere. So, like, uh, we have not announced any of the premieres beyond the three that are part of the ultimate, but I'll just say one of my favorite premieres, for it's a, example, it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, that one, if I want a shortcut and buy it, I can't. If I don't want to wait for it to be a reward from the thing we're not, the mode we're not talking about, or something else right, dropping it in the right. game, if I want to save my time and just get it, I can. I can buy that with these source crystals. But a premier skin just puts the premier skin over the top. The gear you have underneath is the stats. Right. You can think of a premier skin as a really fancy shader for all intents and purposes. Yeah. So, like when Power Girl takes over Supergirl, the visuals change, the intros change. And she says things that are Power Girl, right. but you don't change the stats. That's the gear that you've earned in game through playing, and only through playing. So kind of like we, you know, we've done a lot shortcuts. Yep. For those of you who don't have the kind of time others do, there's a way that you can get that stuff. Yep. And again, uh, for transform gear, is something else you can use for source crystals. Now, for those of you who know what transmogrify is, that's transmogrify. I didn't know what that was until someone explained it to me. But transform gears, I have a gear, and man, these stats are awesome. But I really want these. These uh, rad goggles. Yeah, the rad goggles for Harley. Terrific for Harley. I was I, the character came my head is not announced yet. So fair. Um, fair. So I really want to apply that stat to this item. So boom, done, got it. So you can put the stats you want instead of having to wait for that gear and drop, redrop it, necessarily re-roll it, wait till I'm a higher level and then re-get it. Sure. If you want to just combine them together, you can do that through transform gear. And that is, again, visual only, so that's something we let you do with Source Crystals. And we'll talk, we'll definitely talk a lot more about that later in the... Gear stream. Which will happen at some point. Later date. Yes, yes. Um, the last thing you can do, uh, Apollo Garcia special, is level, uh, level up a character, so it's time saving. Once you've leveled the character to 20, um, we're going to let you jump any other character you want to 20 as well with Source Crystals. Um, it doesn't give you any gear or anything. It just changes that when you, where the gear drops. So you can level immediately to 20 to help your dropping. But it's just a time saver on that aspect. Sure. So those are the things you can do with Source Crystals. Awesome. It's all uh, cosmetic, not gameplay impacting. So it was very important to us that you cannot pay to win in this game in any way. Yeah, that would, that would wreck what we're trying to do. Yes, correct. The exact so, opposite of what we want to do. Awesome. So if you have any more questions about uh, Source Crystals, you can go to our uh, forums. Um, and I will try to try to tweet the, the link out to where the forums are today at some point as well, if you haven't found our forums. So please, go to our forums, sign up for our forums. Besides Source Crystals, you can just talk to other fans about the game, which yeah, is what we game, like. The game does exist there. It does exist there. Uh, let's move on. Another question. This is good for you as well. Um, the Ultimate Edition DLC characters, will they all, there's nine of them. Correct, there are nine. Will they come at release? Uh, the nine characters will not come at release. We're actually we're still making them. They don't yeah. exist at this point. Uh, so as we finish them, then they'll get them. And I'm going to answer the dark side part of that. Is that another, we can another do that question? right now. So okay. there's a big question. Is dark side one of the nine? Dark side is not part of the nine. He is a pre-order bonus. If you pre-order the game, you get dark side for free. Right. That is completely separate from the nine DLC characters. So if you pre-order the ultimate edition, you get dark side and nine characters. And all the shaders, so shaders. and the yeah. three premiere skins, um, all that. And then as we finish those characters, 
uh, you will get those. Yeah. We're just not yeah, we, with them. we we don't have a, a schedule set. Obviously, we're going to get the game out first. Yes, that's those the will first. all be explained later. Yes, in another stream. Oh yeah, in the DLC stream. Right. There'll be nine of them. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, w people have been asking. There's two characters been asked a lot about to see. Who are the two? Robin. Okay. Poison Ivy. Yes. I can tell you this. A lot of people ask for Poison Ivy. She is on the schedule. I'm not going to say when. It's coming. As for Robin, though. I not on the schedule at all. Not, no. I feel like it's important that we get Robin out there. Yeah. So next Wednesday, same time, same place, Robin. I'm Sound excited. good? Yeah. And another character that we have announced, we have announced that haven't shown very much of it all, will also have a breakdown next week. Follow our Twitter, our Facebook, our Instagram to see who that character is going to be. Guys, it's fun. I'm learning stuff here. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty cool. That was next week. Yeah, um, I'm flipping the page. There's two pages now. That's because, how many questions? Because Sean is here, we have two pages. All right. Mm. Well, it's more like a page on a third. Looks like a page, yeah. Here's from Reddit. Now, these are very important questions that people have been asking that I'm excited to talk about. Um, can people have been asking? We have loadouts in the game, and let's say you're playing as Swamp Thing, and you have a version that's that you really uses as grabs or really right. uses. Can you rename them to know what you're doing? And the answer to that is yes. Yes, you now can. The, you know, your opponent won't see what they're called, which is very good because you don't want your opponent seeing the kind of gameplay you have in mind. Mm. But you'll be able oh, to rename Oh, that's why? It I assumed sense. it was because people will put naughty words. That could be it, too. Yeah. My, my reason was, was yeah, yeah. big, big, strategic. Hope, hopeful, strategic, yeah. I think. Um, Next, uh, we've been asking for a new indicator. So when you get a new piece of gear from playing, will there be a new indi indicator, Sean? Yes. There will be. I love new indicators. I, mean, I love turning them off. I love like going through all of them to oh, get rid yeah, of the new OCD indicator. Of, like, I, I always have, have to, to do that. Yeah, have I have to, to do that. So there Unless will be I'm saving it specifically to look at later. Right. I was just playing the other day, and oh, I can say that Aquaman I had a bunch of new stuff, and I was like, I'm going to leave that there, so I'm going to look at that later. Right. Because sometimes you're in the heat of battle. And you want yeah. to go back later. Absolutely. Uh, and one more based on the kind of UI of the gear, which is very important. When you get a new piece of gear, you can actually hover over that piece of gear and compare it to your other one. It'll give you the pluses and minuses mm -hmm. of what that gear will do. So you can say, okay, this chest piece is a little better than what I'm using. Or maybe I love this look. I'll transform it later. You can be, you'll be able to tell the differences in stats, which is, you know, Kind of a quality of life thing and pretty helpful. Yeah, plus six defense, plus four million shield. <laughs> That's a good piece. Yeah. 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 Four million defense never can be killed. Uh, final question, kind of personal question for all of us. We'll start with you, Steve. Of the newcomers that we have announced... Right. Because <laughs> we tried this earlier yeah. in your yeah. office and... Yeah, we, we, he prepped me for this of because my first character is not a uh, announced character. I'm glad, I'm glad I prepped you. Yeah. I'm really glad I prepped you. They're mad I prepped you. Correct. Yeah. So, Correct. Steve, of the newcoming player characters, which one has your favorite play style and why? Cheetah, because, well, you're going to see in a few minutes. Okay. Oh, interesting. Awesome. I will go back to my office and watch. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, the other, mine, this is going to, this just sounds really pandering and shilly because mine right now well i kind of have two and it's it's gorilla grod and swamp thing yeah. which i know we're playing them today i also really dig robin's fight style yes just so you know i'm but very excited those are nothing like each other i know right that's cool but right now swamp thing's my favorite maybe because i've been playing him a lot he's a grappler but in a different way which we'll explain sean yeah of the announce uh and actually my second favorite character is supergirl i'm i like the faster characters quick get in there the speed advantage and that's just eye laser and then the eye laser meter burn. Like, I, just, I love that move. That's one of my favorite visuals in the game. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one of her moves she gets from gear, she can do from the air, which is yeah. also really cool. Did you, have we shown the Wonder Woman doing her, her thing coming yes, back? Yes, we, did. we so did. That's my, one of my favorite moves in the game. And there are so many that we haven't shown and probably won't have time to on stream at some point. So when you open the game, you're going to see a lot of crazy new moves. Yeah. Sean, I think right now that is it for questions. Awesome. I would. We answered all of them? We've not all of them from Twitter. Oh, oh, I thought yeah. There's probably about 400 more, um, but a lot of them are, are this character in the game. Is this character in the game? Oh, yeah. so all of those we've already covered. Yeah, ish. Uh, so, Sean, I'd love to have you back sometime to answer some more questions. Okay, well, we can consider sure that. We, we could talk about it. Uh, before you go, we're going to talk. We up, up, down, down came to our studio last week. Was it last week? I think it was. It was, la it was last, last, last week. It was been, last week. These days. It was loud. Yeah, it was, WWE people are loud. And they're awesome. They had yeah. a great time. It was incredible. They were super nice. Yeah. They loved the game. They debuted Firestorm. 
and they, we were able to see Firestorm and see their tour of the building, which thank you so much for coming up, Dan. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. But we'd also like to show you an actual Firestorm trailer. So, Jen, you think we can do that? So has Bruce ever sat you down for the talk? How young do you think I am? Not that talk, Firestorm. That was Firestorm. We will have some breakdown of Firestorm coming soon. Uh, Sean has magically turned into Michael Bellapani. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Michael's a designer here at Netherrealm. You might have seen him on a Mortal Kombat stream we've done before. I think, I think I've done, this once. is my third is one. Is it your third appearance? I know. I'm blown away. Wow. You're the th uh, in the three-timers club. Yeah. it's I, I'm going to get my badge. Uh, yeah, we have badges. Sure <laughs> we, do. we get badges? Yes. Moving on. Uh, yeah. So I forgot something very important. Guys... Behind the console, Derek always remembers me. We got oh, Jen. Man. Jen, say hi. Hey, everyone. That's on me. I messed that one up. So we are going to talk today about Swamp Thing and Cheetah. Yes. We're going to start with Swamp Thing. Mm -hmm. You did a lot of work on Swamp Thing. I did, yeah. So I just want to talk about just general de design philosophy before mm -hmm. we get into it. What, what, what is Swamp Thing's deal? Swamp Thing, uh, he, we've kind of talked about before, he's a ranged grappler. Which is uh, you know a little bit atypical uh, for that style of character, but uh, yeah, he's got like just a really interesting, varied set of options that he can kind of threaten you at any range. But you know, he's probably particularly dangerous when he can kind of close the distance, get up close, or when he can kind of like predict what you're going to do from far away. Right. I've noticed that like when you, we've played a lot of matches, you and yes. I, and he has certain places on the on the stage where as the opponent mm -hmm. you're, you all, you're always like oh, I can't be there I can't yes. be there I can't yes. be there yeah. so you're always trying to find that there there are certain spots that feel good against him mm -hmm. and certain spots that feel terrible against yeah. him yeah. Yeah. so it's very much space control typically right. with a the grappler they're great up close mm -hmm. they are some of the best characters in the game up close but they get weaker as they go right. but what makes him so interesting is that he doesn't he outranges almost everyone in the game mm -hmm. And Tyler, you nailed it. And Michael, it's space control is super important. Right. He he's good up close. He's good at mid range. He's good at full range, and he has some very very good jump attacks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He generally has a lot of just a really cool mechanics that we haven't really seen the characters from the from our games do. Some sure. very interesting things. And we're gonna probably let's do. You wanna, are we ready to talk through some of those? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say, Steve? Uh, I would just say uh, there's a saying where. A lot of characters don't really play Injustice. They play their own game style, which is one of the cool things about our character designs, mm -hmm. where it's like, you know, a character like Bane doesn't really play like anyone else. He's a great example of that, where I think he's a character that uh, no one else in the roster really plays like him, and he's a character that character specialists are going to love. Like, if you're, if you're the type of yeah. player that likes to find your one character and you mold the way you play Injustice 2 mm -hmm. on that character, he's a great pick. Yep. Yeah, he should, he should be, he should dictate the pace of the match. In a exactly, lot of ways. right. And when he doesn't, that might be where he has problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Which, awesome. So, Jen, let's, uh, let's go to some gameplay now and we'll talk about uh, Swamp Thing. So, here, here's Swamp Thing. Mm -hmm. Swampy. Here's Swampy, here he's walking. Uh, some really cool stuff about Swamp Thing, just from the visuals that I think are... I love the our, our team, mm -hmm. who just the little tiny things, like 
when he jumps and he lands. It's a little harder to see on this stage because it's uh, grassy. Yeah, little splashes. When he lands, yeah. his feet go in the, in the ground. Yeah, yeah just a little dip. And when he ducks, he's That's actually amazing. Yeah, under, underground. I never yeah. knew crouching <laughs> in a fighting game could get me hyped. I was, right. I was excited that our trailer, there's a shot, he just crouches. Yeah. 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 So, you know, kind of a plodding, methodical walk. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely some neat sort of just planty stuff. Now, I was going to use some puns today, but I, really, I ran out of them. <laughs> I've used so many talking about Swamp Thing yeah. that I want to branch out to other things. You know I'm sure I mean? we're going to dig a few up here and there. And we, we don't oh, want to yeah. get bogged down in the comedy. Yeah, right, no, exactly. Because exactly. we're just not good at that. You know, it's just, it's going to make things muddy. Uh, <laughs> so, here we go. So, let's talk, first of all, straight up, let's talk about his just normal attacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which normal attacks do you find to be kind of his really kind of bread and butter normal? Sure. So, uh, well, one thing, he has a super long range sweep. I think maybe he's the longest in the game right now. Yeah, and it actually has that. two hits. Yeah, two hits. So, so well, back from, from distance, it has one, generally. Okay. But if yeah. I get up here, two hits. two hits. And that can break armor. Mm -hmm. uh, he can special cancel into it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you can cancel into it. So you can go, yeah. You have a low starter, uh, unlike other some of the other characters in the game. Right. right? So. Uh, so we have that. That's a really good sweep. Very different mm -hmm. for Swamp Thing. Yeah. Um, what else we got? He's got his his back two is really important. Now again, when we say back two, we're talking about the medium, the, yeah, attack. medium attack. Think medium of the attack. buttons as light punch is one, medium is two, hard attack is three, mm -hmm. uh, character power is four. So one, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. So generally, you know, that's one thing that we're going to talk about moves that way. Mm -hmm. So it might help you to, to learn that that mm -hmm. notation. And also, yeah. if you go online to look up combos, that's how they're written. Yeah. Too. Exactly. So, so you say it's back two. Yeah, it's a, it's a forward progressing mid, which are very important. I whiff punish with it a lot. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and it's got a pretty good startup, uh, but it has a lot of options on it. Yeah, we'll show those. So you can do the middle shot there. That. Yeah, and that one you can cancel the last hit. Yep. And then uh, and then you have the uh, the buddy is your other option. Oh right. A low option on that. Boom. Yeah. Which you can also cancel into. Yeah, various stages in that you can cancel it. You can cancel the last hit. Very important combo. Right, exactly. Uh, and the, the cool thing about this one, let's go to the corner here, Steve. Mm -hmm. The cool thing, so when you're making, yeah, backflip. When you're doing this one, this, so from full screen, like when you're in the middle of the screen, this uh, this here does not have a lot of combo. There's yeah. some things you can do, but they're, they're difficult. Yeah. Now in the corner, that changes with this. Yeah, it expands a lot. So you can do, you can continue on into green thumb, which we'll get to in a moment. Yeah, he actually has a couple moves that like kind of give him more yeah. advantage in the corner. Let's and that's those. the corner is going to be reoccurring with Swamp Thing. Yeah. I know that's that's definitely something that uh, you went with. That he's very very powerful in the mm. corner, right. which you is a staple of grapplers. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He kind of want to walk. He wants to walk you down. And, like, right. The pace of him, so. so also, so that's a great one. Mm. Uh, you can also one of my favorites that I use a lot is the forward two two three. Yeah, this is probably one of the most popular moves that I think you know, for a tester kind of loves. Yeah, that, right? very long range move. Always good to use. And it has a couple options. Yeah. So I think the one we've shown a lot is this is overhead. Is this one, yeah. Yeah. Which in the corner, like we were talking about, more corner options. You can continue it on. Yeah. You can actually combo without meter in the corner. Right. Uh, but uh, he also has a low attack, which I don't think we've shown yet. Yeah. So you have a high-low mix-up of that. It's not the fastest in the world. No. Uh, but uh, that's really incredibly useful when you, we start getting to talk about his gimmick of things that let him switch sides. Really, right. really important for You know what? Play. I've been playing something a lot, and I never thought about that. Yeah, no. Like, really you have to cool, really think cool about idea. how you're switching sides. I, I never thought about that. And that doesn't combo. Like, no, you can't, no it's, so. it's not meant to be a, a really powerful 50-50 mix-up. It's right. just... Kind of a nice tool to use if they're always going over. Them. Yeah, because like, I do this a lot. Right. Well, now I didn't. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, cool. Um, what else do we have that we like from that we use a lot? Oh, his standing very, three. Standing three is great. Yes, yes, covers a lot of space. Is active for a little bit longer than most of our attacks. And what? again, that's multiple hits as well if they're yeah. up close. Yeah. What, and we talked about like space control. Yeah. This right here is Swamp Thing Zone. Yeah. yeah. I own this. Yes. Uh, also, his jump three. Yeah, has, a, has a lot of range. And jump tree? Jump, it's actually called jump tree. Jump tree. Jump, jump tree. <laughs> jump tree. Yeah. Uh, one of the other moves I love is his jump two. Yes. Which is a nice, this is a great way to start it's some like combos. incredibly long range combos. Right. 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 So you, you gotta time it well, because like, yeah. that, that floatiness of that jump is a little tricky. But, right. Uh, you can um, still threaten a lot of people. And he's got this, which is his kind of quick jab. That's like his main punisher to start combos up right. close. He also does have low stomp, yes. pretty, pretty slow startup, 
Yeah. Are we, is that still Swamp Stomp? Is that what it's called? Marsh. So. Marsh. Marsh March. Sorry, the first March. one. Okay. The first one is Swamp Stomp. Second right. one, Marsh March. And he also has. Uh, we, we, we talked about pocket sand all the time. <laughs> so he has. Yeah. Pocket mud. Yeah, pocket mud. He's got his, his pocket pollen. Right. Pocket pollen. Poly pocket pollen. Nice. Write it down. Yeah. Put it on the Reddit. Put it on the forums. That's what it's called. Pocket pollen. Uh, cool. So that, I mean, is yeah. anything else we want to go to? Yeah, well, so those, are, those are really his good kind of like combo starter mix up right. options, I would say, yeah. He also, it's worth pointing out that his 4 3 and his back 3 have extraordinary range as well. Yeah, yeah probably some of, uh, maybe like one or two characters that can outrange him on that. Yeah, he can, he's definitely he can really far right among the, the longest range. Yeah, which is, again, keeps being a trend with right. him. really good range. Maybe not always the best start at times, right. yeah, but yeah. he can still threaten. You have to be aware of the ranges of each of his attacks. Right, most characters are going to be faster than him, but very, very few are going to be able to compete with his range. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and that's, you know, that's a good character. I yeah. mean, you gotta, you gotta learn how he plays that way. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some special moves that he has. Yeah. This is, these, there's some really great stuff here. So, some, uh, we got the log. What's this called log. in the game, do you remember? Log kick? Log kick sounds yeah. about right. Uh, he's we, not, ran, we ran out of speed on that. Just log he, kick. He's not really uh, meant to be a projectile character, so this yeah. is not, this is more of a complimentary projectile. Yeah, this is probably the closest he has to a pro traditional projectile. Right. Uh, from And his main loop set. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, yeah. we'll so, so, that in this bit, context. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We actually have one of those for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. But, but normally, you don't have one. And actually, if you're full screen, this thing won't actually hit, won't actually hit you. So you yeah. can stay away. Um, but he has other things that can threaten you at that range, too. So It's just, uh, a, you know, because generally, when you're at this position, you're going to want to... I mean, this is where you. This is where you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Like threat, threaten with your command grabs. Uh, threaten with your buddy. Right. You got uh, the, so we got. So let's talk about the, the vine. That's a pretty big part of this. Game. Yes. Yes. So multiple ranges. Yes. You can. You can hit. At, there's four different spaces of the screen you can hit with this move. So you got. I think. I think it will whiff at the very, very extreme range. But yeah. then the, the you have a far version. You've got a mid version, and you got a close version. There we go. Far. Yeah. And then close. We can do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having trouble. Down, yeah, <laughs> I'm having uh, trouble. Uh, I'm having are you, trouble. Are you down forward one? I'm pushing the wrong buttons. You got this, dude. There we go. First draft. It's actually very easy yeah. to do if you're not me. Uh, he can also meter burn that for even more damage. He sure can. Yes. Yes. And for choose, a lot of damage. Yeah, and choose which side you're on. Yeah, which again, side switching. Really right. important. Very important. When we get so, if they're close to the corner, you can throw them close to the corner. Right. Yes, exactly. Also, you can go up with it. Yes. Yeah, and you just do that by holding up. So if you're if you're threatening someone with the normal grounded versions, uh, you know you can jump out of those. But if you can kind of condition someone to uh, try to jump away from it, right. you can you can throw that at them. So there's a lot of different ranges. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you have to make the right decision mm -hmm. and, right. and make the right call of which one to use. But yes, you can. Throw Jumping is things. always one of those powerful ways to deal with grapplers. So Swamp Thing has a lot of anti air options that are high risk, high reward. And yes, that's one of yes. them. Yes, right. Uh, what else? We uh, uh, a good wake up attack in the tree. Yes, mm -hmm. one of my favorites. So you can great anti air, great anti cross up. Sorry. Yeah. yeah so Perry someone's trying to jump over you, hit from the other side. That'll hit either side. And that's another example where if you think the opponent is going to try to jump out of your grab, you can go for that. And you can, if, if you're, you can also combo it too, which is nice. Yes. I did it wrong. I did, I did the, I did his. Gimmick, but yeah. let's get into that. So we're I talking guess. about why you want to why you want to switch sides with someone a right. lot. This move is a really good example. This right. this move will restrict someone's ability to jump and to dash, and does a little bit of damage over time too. So it's right. it's really treacherous. But the the trade off is you can only apply it where you're walking. So you can't jump, you can't dash while you're right. using it. Yeah, so it's so here and yeah. Abigail's guard, you can't jump, yeah. you can't dash. It'll still be there if you jump or dash. And then I but you won't be able to continue laying. Throw him back on top of it, yeah. you can't jump, and then yeah. command grab. Exactly. Right. So yeah, your, your your ability to threaten with those command grabs when they're inside that trap is way, way more increased. Abigail's guard. Abigail's garden. Exactly. So That's a great lore name. Yep. Yes. And then we talked about the buddy. 
The buddy, the buddy. shows up in the throw. He shows up in the yeah. throw. He finally moves. Yeah, he's, we, we saw him earlier in the F style. He uh, also which, can... I'm not sure if a lot of people have noticed that if you do the, the away two combo with him, yeah. a lot of people don't notice uh, you're actually switching characters when you do that. Yeah, you so, end up as the guy who comes. Who yeah, yeah if you complete the combo, which right. was which he, is hard to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's, it looks awesome. And yeah, it fits fun. in the lore. It's not a buddy, it's him. Yeah, yeah. He, it's he him. is all nature. Yeah, he is a consciousness that can go right. from, from any... Uh, plant and, and materialize a body. Yeah. So He's in the one body, I don't need that thing anymore. Right. New one. Let's He's go. in the water you drink right yeah, now. Exactly. Exactly. Well, uh, yeah, we were, depends on the water you want to drink, I guess. Right. So he can, he can bring him out like this, mm -hmm. and then on meter burn, he can... Yeah, you go into this grab. Now, here's what I love about it. You full screen, Steve. So, animation changes. He gets right Yeah, up right up. You teleport right across. And this is a good move for uh, people that use projectiles. Yeah. The screen. So this is, this is your one move, like you were saying that you can threaten with anywhere on the screen. This right. Whole, yeah. Uh, real quick, let's just do the this You also have green bump. Oh, yeah. We'll this is a great super. I love this. I love the little grass that comes out of the ground. Oh, yeah. And the nice thing about his super is the N2 uh, hits on the ground. So, it's and the startup is pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So you can hit them from anywhere. Yeah. Here's the, uh, really, the kind of one of the moves that is his game yeah. is Green Thumb. Right. Which yeah. is a... One of the most versatile moves I'd say. Yes. And this is the complement to the Vine Grab. The Vine Grab is great from mid to far range, and then when he gets in, mm -hmm. this is the bread and butter up close. This yeah. this is your... You can actually hit... You, yeah, you cannot actually hit the Vine Grab this close. Like, the closest right. one will miss someone up close, so then you have to stick with this guy. So you, so you, you do the grab. You, I mean, you don't, or just, you don't want to just drop them. You could be nice. That's not so nice. You'd yeah. be sweet to them, but... Yeah. It has multiple different things yeah. you can do. You can uppercut them. Yeah. <laughs> One is a restand. You yeah. leave them right next to you. And does a good bit of damage. It does a decent chunk of damage and then it leaves him right next to you. Yeah. You can throw him behind you. Yeah. Again, side switching. Right. Very important for him. So if you have a trail you're building up and you can land that right. and switch it and you can set him up where they can't again, jump or dash. Right. What if, though, mm -hmm. we could have another option if Swamp Thing doesn't have the life lead? I don't think there's any. There's uh, nothing he can yeah, do. Yeah, never gonna happen. Well, no. maybe you can meter burn. Can you? I don't know. Let's try that. See what happens. Take a little life off of me. Good right. idea. <laughs> yeah. And he can heal. Yeah. But, but my problem but, with this is, is, but wait, there's more. Yeah. But then he's giving up his offense. It's true. Yeah. There's no. Why would you? Yeah. Who would do that? Yeah. And usually you can do more damage than you heal. Why would I choose to do that? It's a good question. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Should we try what? hitting a button? Let's, let's try hitting a button. Okay. Okay, we're gonna so we're gonna start with the heal. So we'll heal. Yeah. And then. Oh, oh man! Oh wait! So you can still actually do you can still actually with do that. moves. Now yeah. here's the other thing that I actually learned today. Yes. You can do that. Take two bars and get a double heal. Yes, you can but get a double heal. But not do offense. Yes. Right. So there's a trade off there. Yep. It's beyond the extra bar you're spinning. If you right. really need that life, you know you're you're not gonna be able to deal as much damage. Right. But you still, you know, you're still close to the guy. You can still hopefully get some pressure on afterwards. There he is. So yeah, he's got he's got a ton of options. A lot of options. Yeah. What do you think, Steve? That's that swamp thing in a, in a nutshell, huh? I'm yeah. Trying to think if there's anything we haven't we haven't shown. Covered? I don't think so. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is that is kind of your your breakdown on how swamp thing works. Yeah, I think we got to the root of his play style. Yeah. Wow. We're not done, are we? Uh, we do want to show though a couple of his special. Uh, moves you can get from gear. Yeah. We've had a couple loadouts, and we also loaded out a few uh, new... You don't need to show the, the other one, the other character. Now you're giving that away for later. It's, I'm not going to do them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here's another version of Swamp Thing. Yeah. Uh, what we got... By the way, our team, uh, the character team, did a fantastic job on his model. Like, all oh, the man. different variety of gear and, like, the emissive elements and stuff he has. I think very impressive. So the one we just saw is his Pullman. He can do a standing three and actually mirror burn it and then go in and he gets all the green thumb off. Yeah, so, so that, that move that controls so much space right. before now has, like, yeah, that whole range of options right. that you have. And he, Normally that move will just knock the opponent away and it's kind of a get off me move. This is actual offense. He actually brings you in. But it takes one bar a meter to do Yes. Yes. Uh, another one, which we're, is fun for Swamp Thing, is... What is it now? Is it Swamp Thing? There we go. There we go. A very fast hiding projectile. Yeah, we okay. talk about traditional projectile, this kind yeah. of fulfills that role. Meter burn. Yeah. Throw some spines at him. Yeah. 
So this would be a great loadout if Swamp Thing is playing a matchup where he's just totally getting... Yeah, if you want to go pure zone, right. this, is, this is the one. He right. just, if, he, if there's a character that he could not handle, like maybe like Deadshot or something who uses a lot of projectiles, you can actually fire back. Right. Mm. Let's uh, look at the other one then, too. Are you on that one? We can do it this way. Okay. Cool. What if he really has trouble getting close? Is there something you could do? I don't think so. What if he just doesn't feel that his character power is going to be useful enough because he keeps getting knocked away? Mm -hmm. so, what could he possibly do? Well, we talk, maybe you've heard this, maybe you haven't. When you, you have two slots for your abilities. Yeah. Now, there are certain abilities that are very good that will take up both slots. Mm -hmm. This one takes up both slots and also replaces Abigail's Garden. Mm -hmm. so and he, this totally changes his character power. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, if you want to get way more aggressive, almost the opposite of that projectile tool. Like, yeah. no, I don't want you to be way, I want you to be right up on you. So, a, a substantial little recharge here for that, of course, yeah. but boom. Very, very powerful here for a grappling character. Yeah. Very fast, system. very fast teleport. Yeah. Right. So that is a couple things. A lot of other things we're not going to show yet. We're going to leave some for the, uh, you know, for the game comes out. Right. But that's just a, a little taste of yep. those. Steve, let's go back to our, our first loadouts, and now you're gonna stick around, yeah? Sure. Because you you played all the characters. You oh yeah, yeah, and this is also one of my favorite characters. Well, that's but, good. Yeah, that, I was that's also good. say Derek worked a lot on. Yes, so he's he not here, but we can show a little bit of appreciation. De yeah. It is sad, and I'm I'm uh, Derek is ill today. Yeah. And I I don't think it's because he has swamp thingitis. Like he's afraid that I'm gonna beat him in a match. He did not drink the swamp water. It's not water. that. I don't I'm glad that you clarified it's not I don't that. think he's afraid. I, I, that's what I was. I don't think he's afraid. Mm -hmm. um, but Derek did do a lot of work on Cheetahs. It's yes. actually one of his favorite characters. Mm -hmm. So we definitely wish you could be here. Get well soon, Derek. Mm -hmm. Also, y'all, why don't you tweet Derek good, get well soon? I think that helps. Yeah. At Derek Kurtzik. Yeah. Send, send him a get well message. Um, let's, before we get into Cheetah, I want to do one thing real quickly. Um, I want to talk quickly about uh, Up, Up, Down, Down, Game Movement. We talked yeah. about this earlier. Um, just want to say thank you to them and the WE for bringing them out here to, to do this, and to the Up Up Down Down channel who just hit a million subscribers. I think. Oh today. really? Oh wow! Um, Congrats, guys. Xavier Bailey, Sasha, Kofi. Mm -hmm. I want to say straight up, I've had the opportunity and luck to meet a lot of really cool people in my mm -hmm. travels for these games. These, the the WE superstars were some of the nicest, most genuine yeah. people that I have met, and yeah. I, you got to spend a lot of time with them too. It was amazing, um, and they was, are true fans. True fans mm -hmm. of the game. They love the game. It was. A really incredible experience for all of us, and we're so happy they were able to come out. I do want to say, Kofi plays in Mortal Kombat, Katana, and I guess he says he wins, you know, more than he loses a little bit. You know, yeah, he's 50-50. Yeah. He was, there was some slight bragging, he was, maybe. Maybe <laughs> a little talk. I don't know if he popped off. Maybe he popped off. There was but, talk. Uh, we do have a really good Katana player here with Steve. So, after the stream today on the Up Up Down Down channel, you'll be able to see a best of three between oh, Kofi man. Kingston... And 16-bit. It'll be on the Up, Up, Down, End channel after the stream is over. They're probably putting it up right now. Mm -hmm. So you can guess what happens. I'm not going to give anything away. It was a lot of fun. Uh, some trash talk went on. A little bit. I think Kofi might have learned some stuff. And I think, you know what? I think you learned something. Sure. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, real quick. So, Jen, I want to play. Uh, we have a, a short interview that I did with them just about kind of what their, their lives in video games and what they do. And if we could show that to the people now, Jen. All right, everybody, here's a special interview for our Watchtower stream with these folks. You want to introduce yourselves? Mm. I'm Sasha Banks. I am Bailey. I am, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I sweat. I thought I you were sweat. coming around the circle. <laughs> <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> I'm Kofi Casey. I'm Xavier Woods, a.k.a. Austin Creed. Up, up, down, down. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Mm. I saw that coming. <laughs> so, <laughs> they are here because today they recorded some stuff for a character, which we've now announced, which is Firestorm. Mm. And you came for your channel, which, you know, all gamers should know your channel, Up, Up, Down, Down. One of my favorites. I try to watch every single one of them. I do. I do. I really do. <laughs> Thank you. Legit. So, uh, just kind of tell me how that started real quick. Um, so... I wanted to do a uh, like Food Network-esque show. You know, they travel to different places and eat at different restaurants sure. and stuff. I go to a ton of uh, arcade bars across the country. So I was like, oh, let me get a camera crew and just go to these places I'm going to already right. and show you guys this like video game culture. And uh, they're like, nah. And then someone was trying to start a YouTube channel at random. And so we put the ideas together. And the company, after like a year of talking about it, was like, yeah, sure, you can try this. And almost two years later now, we're sitting here with you oh, doing stuff like so this. Cool. It seems to have worked. 
Just a little bit. Yeah. Well, this is a really exciting day for me. Um, I, I've told you guys this many times. I'm, I got my Cactus Jack shirt on. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Same uh, hat. Uh, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Sammy, I was wearing this thing first, okay? I've been wearing this for years. Uh, maybe not. Um, you guys, you've been battling out in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. You battled it out in Injustice. How are you feeling now? Um, guys, is this before our thing airs or what? Oh, right. I feel great. Right. How do you we feel? How do you feel? I feel good. That's a good thing. They can vaguely speak yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah. vaguely yeah. speak of it. Me too. Well, you know, uh, the last time I won, and uh, when you get to see on Up, Up, Down, Down, I, yeah, we'll there, see. There is some matches that happen. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> as a result. Uh, but it was fun. I had a great time, and uh, I know all the buttons and all the combos. You know combos. all the buttons? All the buttons. <laughs> so, uh, I know where Square is. I know where Square is. She knows all the buttons. And um, I can't wait to play it again. <laughs> this is exciting. Also, because we're gonna film, we don't know that we don't know what happened yet, but we'll be right. filming it very soon. Kofi here Ooh. is gonna be playing 16-bit in a katana mirror match. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling running into that right now? I, I feel good. I feel good. I'm uh, I'm very good with katana. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very confident in my my level of skill. Sure. Uh, I'm told I'm playing the katana uh, master. Yo, definitely. And, and we'll see. You oh, it's know, gonna be a buzz saw. Well, oh, <laughs> who's to say? Going through your man. Yeah, he's my guy. Going through your man. This is your guy. Yes, this is the this buzz saw. Might be going through your man. man. He might be the yeah. piece of wood. Is right. what he's trying uh -huh. to say. Yeah. Gonna be sawdust right. all over the building. Sawdust. <laughs> Don't let me down. We've been in plenty of lumberjack <laughs> matches. You about to do some lumberjack? Mm. You know what? You know what? You might you might as well come off that flannel and put it on Kofi. Yeah. Come off that flannel. Down trees. You know what I'm saying? Buzz saw, baby. Yeah. Yeah. One of my 90 flannels I'm going to have to give away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He takes it off because yeah. I'm going yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, So I just want to talk to you guys and say hello and have our fans say hello back to you. I'm sure there's a lot of hello. huge WWE fans, as I am. And I wanted to thank you truly from the bottom of my heart for coming out to visit us. It has been a real joy to hang out with you guys today. Oh, They're all you. super nice. Wow. Like legit. They're super nice. Nah. You know? This place is super cool. We had so yeah. much fun. We're so lucky. We're so happy you guys came. And remember, we, we, if you haven't watched it yet, the Firestorm reveal is on the Up Up Down Down channel. Please mm. go check that out. Mm. Um, I hope to see you guys again soon. Super oh, yeah. informative. They're moving in, I think. They, they are moving. They're 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 moving. they Thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you. Guys. All right. So that was our interview with Up, Up, Down, Down. Not to belabor the point, we were very happy they came in. Yeah. Had a really great time. We, as we mentioned on the video, Bailey and Sasha were had, had some matches. They did. Not, not the matches they have in the ring, which are always incredible, but <laughs> ones that they had in the game. And that's what I love about our games, just to talk about it real quickly, is that, like, we play every day. Yeah. Right? They... They, they button mash and have fun. Mm -hmm. But the match was still pretty enjoyable. Like, I had a good time yeah. watching it. There's yeah. some really yeah. neat stuff that happens. So uh, I believe that's going to come out later this week, so pay attention to that. Go check out Steve and Kofi and their battle to end all battles. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a true battle royal. It, yeah, it is a, a testament to both of your skills. And yeah. it was a, lot of, a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. But thank you guys for coming out for the WWE. Thank you guys for being here. Ex excited for it. Had a great time. Let's talk about Cheetah. Yeah. So Cheetah is also a grappler. Which yeah. is something we kind of hinted at. In fact, she has maybe the most amount of throws a character in our games have ever had. She so, has a, someone yeah. will call you on that, but okay. Um, the difference is she's not a long-range grappler at all. She is an up-close and personal, just vicious, rush-down character. She doesn't want to outrange you. She doesn't want to keep you out. She wants to get in and go crazy. She'll appeal to the maniac players. The players that want to just dash up, jump in, and go nuts. Maybe someone like Derek? Somebody similar to Derek. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, and ironically, Derek and I both play her. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, so, so let's talk about how she plays. Yeah, we'll start off with the normals. She just has exactly what you expect. Super fast strikes. A, you know, just a, a ton of normal combos. I love, I love the way she animates. Yeah, normal. overhead and low <laughs> are all in there. Such a great job. She keeps you guessing. She has a, a pretty long move list. And then she has her throws. She has a lot of strings that can go into throws. She has this one here, where that's, she can that's actually re-stand you, or do a couple of different options. 
Oh. If I can... There you go. There you go. There you go. You just have to do it early. Yeah. That's why I was messing with it yesterday. Um. Yeah, and this one leaves you standing instead of knocking you down. Just are these like, uh, like what, like what are the inputs for some of these? They're all pretty simple. One, one, two, four, two, three. She is not a high execution character. So a lot of these are, are grabs that are at the end of. Yeah, it's they're the standard. Yeah, it's all you built just in. Do one, two, and then hit the throw button, and she'll do a throw. So up close, she basically just mixes you up with overheads and lows that are uh, low reward. They're not like launchers. They're just kind of quick strikes that go into throws. She she doesn't kill you with uh, overhead and low mix-ups that do a ton of damage. She kills you a little bit over time, or she goes into her special moves, which she has command grab. And it could be meter burn to get a combo. It's a, certainly more juggle focused. Yes. Uh, command grab character than Swamp Thing. Right. Swamp Thing, his command grabs just do a big chunk of damage. She just goes into a combo if you have a bar meter. Right? I mean, that's something you were saying earlier that, like, we have two command grab characters. And they're very, very they're different. so different. Now, this will beat anyone standing high, but they can duck it. So, you can see she has a low grab. And just like the high grab, she can meter burn it. That looks so oh, cool. Man. And then she gets a full combo too. Now that I look at the characters we chose for this, you probably couldn't pick two more opposite characters in the game. It's perfect, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a great coincidence. Mm. They are both the same archetype, but they play totally differently. Mm. So in addition to her command grabs, she has this rising move, Primal Rage, <coughs> which is a great wake-up attack. It's a great combo ender. She can meter burn it for additional damage, and this is personally one of the coolest. Vicious. Yeah, that I love the personality of her coming down doing it. It's interesting that you like a, another feline-based uh, character. I, I have my my archetypes I like. What can I say? You like cat-based female characters. That's pretty specific. But you're, you're not questioning his loyalty, though. He's still loyal right. to his other female Oh, that's true. That's true. Yes. And then, that's everything that you can do up close. So then, to help her from full screen, she has the Predator Pounce, which is a leaping attack. And you can hold it down, and then release it when you want, or you can actually cancel it. So, you can fake the opponent out and use it for movement, or you can actually go into it. And off this, she has a couple options. She can do a short hop, she can do a medium range hop, or can she do a long range hop. And off this, she can do any of her jumping attacks, which are very, very good. You saw right there, that's a jump one cross yeah, her jump attack. Yeah, she close distance. Really fast. Really fast, right. And her jump attacks are very, very strong. Her jump one is very fast. It'll beat other jump attacks if she does it first. Her jump two is actually one of the rare jump attacks with multiple hits. Mm -hmm. Very good in combos, very good for air-to-airs. And her jump three has really good range and is active for a long time. So all three jump attacks are good and they all complement each other. By active, you mean? It means it actually will connect for a long amount of time. Like, her leg is sticking out and all while her leg is out, it can still connect. Gotcha. Yeah. And she also has a pounce, which she does in the air, which is kind of like a dive kick. It's very, very fast. It's an overhead, and she can do it at any time in her jump. She can do it low. She can jump back and do it. And she can do it for a pounce. She can even go the opposite way. So she can pounce over you and then dive bomb yeah. the other way. So it's like Michael said, she keeps mm -hmm. you guessing in the air mm -hmm. constantly. And she can meter burn this to get a combo. Yeah, like, so doing a dive into that move, you can cover the entire screen. Right. Now, it is all unsafe. You can anti-air the pounce, mm -hmm. you can punish her on block, so it's high risk, but it's the way to get in close. Like, you can green thumb pounce. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You, you, you can get 1-1 one, one into a combo. So these are all ways to kind of control the sky and to get in close to then begin your offense. Yeah. Uh, another neat thing is her 4-3 is one of the rare ones that's actually double hitting. It's an overhead like all 4-3s, but it, it's pretty quick and it has two hits. Yeah. So it's really good for breaking armor, which is probably the number one thing you get salty about, let's be honest. I don't, I don't know if I would put what I get salty about in any sort of order. Uh, that's, that's a good I point. I mean, there's 50 things I get salty about. That is, I would say it's top five. And her back three has a uh, pretty good range. It's probably... Well, another animation looks just amazing. Oh, it looks absolutely yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then uh, her character power is her Claws of Death, and this is a damage buff for any claw-based attack. 
which it's, turns out a lot of her attacks. It's a lot of her attacks. <laughs> it's a lot of her best up close attacks. And it's pretty substantial. Like, yeah, you can you can put out a lot of damage. A lot of a lot of burst damage with that. Yeah. But it, it doesn't last super long. It does so. not last too long yeah. and it has a cooldown. And so the idea is do you want to activate it from the full screen, then try to get in? Or do you want to not be holding it down, turn it on, give up your momentum, but then you have it on. So if you're right and you get your offense going, you're gonna do a ton of damage. Well we've had a lot of times when you and I've played where I've tried to time it out. Yeah, yeah. Like, Absolutely. And then when it hits, it hurts. But. And her super move is also really cool because she travels full screen and it's super fast. So it's a great, yeah. great move if they miss on there. And of course, like any super move, it has armor. So a typical scenario when Tyler and I are playing is he'll do vine grab and I duck it and there you go. You're in oh, a lot yeah. of trouble. Watch that meter. Yeah. So she's one of those characters where when she has the four bars, it's exactly right. You have to sit there and, and really think about what you're doing. When Normally, when she doesn't have meter, you have to think about the air and you have to think of her dashing, but full screen, she doesn't have a lot of options. When she has super, all of a sudden she has a great option. All right. Excellent. Does that feel good? That, that's pretty good. I would say that's the that's the uh, quick rundown of Cheetah. She is uh, a lot of throw options. That's the main way she opens people up. That's her main source of damage. Is you're you're gonna have a little bit of a struggle at the mid range trying to get in. You're gonna either dash. You're gonna have to jump. You're gonna commit to something dangerous. But when you get in, it's it's your turn. Yep. Awesome. And uh, she has a couple of abilities we wanted to show. Yeah. She's got some very cool ones. We picked a few. Again, like Not we all. talked about, yeah, yeah we're, we're going to show a couple things for each character when we do these breakdowns. want to leave some surprise for people, too. I yeah. don't actually know what we're showing, so I will be careful about what I mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> one of them is she has a torpedo move. Very, very fast. It'll hit almost full screen. Not quite, but almost. And this kind of complements what I'm talking about at mid-range, where she doesn't have a ton of options. If you're struggling against maybe Swamp Thing's range or Deadshot's projectiles or something, you have this. And it could be meter burn for pretty good damage. And she'll yeah. actually notice... Good corner carry. Exactly. Carry yeah. you very far away. We're just like Swamp Thing, she excels. And then the second one it's like she that has one. Yeah. <laughs> in this loadout. And by the way, I want to point out, I love the gear that she can change her tail. Well, that's, yeah, that's her so accessory. Cool. Right? Yeah. 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 Another yeah, another accessory. character, I'm, I think one of our best in the game. And I say that amongst really good looking characters. Yeah. Of the, the range of gear and like the some of the options we have. It's, I would may, may not have talked about this a lot. So each character has in, in their gear loadout, it has an accessory spot. And then you can look at that as sort of like, what's the iconic thing in a lot yeah. of characters, right? The Superman crest, the, yes. you know, that sort of thing. Hers is her tail. Is her tail. Yeah. Right. Uh, Swamp Things is his weapon. His club, yeah. yeah. So the or, second or thing, whatever it may be. yeah, whatever it yeah. is, we have on this loadout is an air grab, and it just complements her air attacks, which are already really good. It gives her a fourth air attack that's great. You can use it to anti-air. You can use it. <laughs> you do this. You can use it in combos, and it can be meter burn to do additional damage. And she can kind of bounce up. And then we have another loadout, which has two of my favorites. So one of the things I mentioned was some of her lows and overheads don't really lead to huge damage. They're more uh, pressure options, right? Yeah. And she has this, which it ends in a grab, but it begins with a low. The, the ability version allows her to meter burn, and then she can actually get a combo. You can even get a back three. Oh, wow. And that'll lead to big damage. So yeah. that actually makes her low combo starter even more powerful. Mm. And then she has the Predator Crawl, where she will quickly crawl around the screen. And it's similar to like a Melina Roll. It's a move, it's a high risk move that you can just do at any time. It's a very uh, Derek move. Yes. It's, yeah, yes. it's something where if you feel like a I don't think we even need to say it yeah. anymore. It's, it's implied. Once I said it's like Melina Roll, that kind of. Yeah, yeah and, and this is a move that it's it's very punishable, it's very risky, but the opponent is going to have to look out for it, and you can do it at any time. And you can actually meter burn it to get a combo. Get a good combo. Yeah. Cool. So her gear moves really complement her playstyle, depending on 
you know, depending on what you're struggling against. So if, if you have someone that maybe uses like Batman's batarangs to keep you out, right? This this move would be a great way to beat it. Yeah. It's low the whole time. So yeah. Like low yeah. yeah. She goes very low the whole time. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's awesome. So that is Cheetah. That's Cheetah. Awesome. Um, here's the thing. Uh, we need to talk to the fans. Okay. So Derek, as we mentioned, is gone. And there is a belt battle usually that happens. Yeah. Right? Uh, Derek has the belt right now. I don't. Now, we still want to have a match between Cheetah and Swamp Thing. Yeah. Which ends up meaning that I have to play Swamp Thing against Steve. Let's get to the uh, go ahead and set up while we're talking here. Uh, I'll have to play against Steve. Now, the, here's the thing. Steve, you do, not get the, you do not get the lantern from this. Okay? I don't get the lantern? You do not get the lantern. But I wanted the lantern. You don't get the lantern. Okay. I'm sorry. Um... This is just a match to show people. You'll you'll be the interim champion okay. for one week. Does, can I pick up the lantern? Uh, you can pick up the lantern. Yes. So we're just reloading here. You gotta do this quickly. Fully charged. <laughs> so I didn't know it came with a ring too. Yeah. Let's pick our characters here. Oh, wait, I got. The, I, let me okay. do this. There we go. <laughs> Classic uh, couch play sure. experience. So I'm player one. Okay, cool. Let's just go. You okay. just, let's yeah. just go one on one. All right. And that's the no, first of two. No this help. Is, this is for all the pride. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe not all the lanterns. Right. So I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. We've had good matches at your desk. It we, hasn't been. I would say over the past three days, your swamp thing has really improved. Good. Wait. The red has cursed you. Again. We don't know what you are saying. Oh, it's true. It's true. Can, you, uh, does, can the audience hear what they're saying? Part of it. Oh man, just going mm. interactable heavy early. Wow, good block. Look at this. She does a, is she a power character? She is. Yes. She does have super strength. That's that's more. That's true, that's true. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. gave up the corner. Yeah, I'm in trouble now. Steve is. I gotta remember what I do. What do I do? Uh, okay, I got this. I mean, he's, he's kind of putting pressure on you. Right. I got, he I, was doing very well when he kicked me out. I gotta go back to my old school. My yeah. old school play. Yeah. Stick to, stick to your advantage. Yeah, careful, careful those, uh... There oh, you go. Nice. Yeah. Very Excellent nice. follow-up. Good damage. Oh, man, I missed it. Oh, you fell for it again! There we go. You, you know, I get a little bit more, it's okay. Just, yeah. get, just get something. Look at that. See, there you go. Yeah. And you see, Cheetah struggled to get in. When she did, she did big burst damage. Good job keeping the pressure off. For a moment. Uh-oh. No! Oh, she, wasn't, so she wasn't committed enough. So dumb. I thought he was going to put your butt and okay. do that instead. He still built suspense. Oh, there you go. See, that's good space control. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, you... Alright. I thought that was a very good match. It was fun. I, you hit every combo. You had You took away, like, three quarters of the health? Yeah. yeah. Close to it. Probably did better than I would have done. Well, you know, I, I'm still not doing as well as I have done. You know, and I need to get That's into that. That's true, but... What are we playing to? First to two. First to two, okay. I just, just you used to be doing that. Oh. Oh. I think if you had, if you'd gone with the armor. Yeah, if you had armored that, you would have won. Easy to see in retrospect. Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah. There you go. Did you set the four two? Oh. Oh, 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 oh you saw it coming. Yeah. Pushing me to the corner. You haven't used, you're backing up, but you're not using your trade. I'm, I'm, I'm it's ready it's, for it's yet. risky I'm to open up, yet. but. There you go. Oh. Oh. Oh, get out of that corner. Oh, nice. There you go. Good use of armor. Did it again. Did what? I did, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. In the lead. Oh, I missed oh. it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. There's a ball oh, here. I used, I used so, my trade. Remember what we said about full meter? Watch out with Cheetah. Oh, yeah, I gotta. 
Oh, I, 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 you literally did the thing. You recreated the example. Well, it was a good demonstration. Part of me thought he wouldn't do it either, <laughs> but he did. He's part of the band. Not much. Man. You got good pressure. Oh. Pass. Yep. You get it fast. Oh, smart. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. I'm just kidding. fantastic. Oh, man. That, well, was, that was pretty valiant. Yeah. I, I think that was pretty good. I will play one more match. Okay. One more yeah. Now, does this mean like QA Lab one more match, which means 10 more matches? No, it or means actually one more just match. one more match. Okay. okay. Sorry. I'm not doing like. I, I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit like I do on stream, and I just want to play my game right now. All right? When you're playing methodically, you're yeah, doing well. Yeah. Yeah. More of that, yeah. more of this. Okay, that was good, Steve. Proud of you. Okay, nice. I would I would say go with your faster options. Yeah. Nice backdash. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, I want to hold him out. Yeah. Hold him out. Hold him out. Good. There we go. There we go. Stay out of here. Yeah, when you're up close, you want to be, you know, those, those throws are real. Oh! Okay. Excellent. Okay. Excellent combo. That did some damage. That was real damage. Oh, and now we can't. Oh! He, oh! Bingo. Bingo. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh man, I thought this was a kill. Mm. Excellent. All right, Excellent. I have the life leash. Now yeah, this right. is where I need to do my thing. Good, a good job incorporating your, your trait. Yeah, you gotta you gotta time it specific. He used here. his cat claws at the wrong time, he had one more hit left. That's, that's a waste yeah. of that's a waste yeah, of time, yeah. Steve. Yeah, two wasted of traits. Oh, in the corner again. Steve, I'm not necessarily rooting for Tyler, <laughs> I, I, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm rooting for I'm rooting for a close match. You're rooting. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, uh. Good. I needed that. Oh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Not, not converting, but you're still in and hits. Oh, my hits. Yep. Oh, that might not hit. It was own reaction. Oh, I did it again. Yeah. I but I thought I yeah. thought you actually did really well. Like, Played better that time. Some good combos. Yeah. You used your tools effectively. All three games were competitive. They yeah. yeah. weren't bad. They weren't bad. Yeah. Um, you forced him to play better to beat. That's true. Yes. I, you know, and the thing was, you noticed when I was doing my keep out, I was playing better. But my problem is, I'm like, oh, he's on the ground. I gotta go do stuff. Right. I don't need to do stuff. I need to make you do stuff and then beat you. Yeah. Swamp thing is for patient players. I think. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Methodical. Thinking players. Yeah. So me? Yeah. What? When you think methodical, uh, cerebral fighting game play, I think lands down. Thank you so much. Sure. Well, guys, that is guys and girls, everybody, everyone who's watching. Thank you so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Steve, for taking over for Derek for Thanks one week. For having me. Yeah. We'll have you back again, I'm sure. Michael, thank you so much. Of course. Sean Hamrick from earlier, thank you. Jen, of course, thank you. Everybody, we wish Derek to get back soon, and thanks for Swamp Thing and, and Cheetah, but. Next Wednesday, we'll be showing you some Robin at the same time. And one more character. Until then, this has been The Watchtower.